Hey guys, this is Apple Hunter 274 and today is a very special day because Mac OS X Line just came out and it's available on the App Store for $29. I'm going to be doing a full review of it so you can decide for yourself whether you want to get it or not. My uh, general assessment of it is that uh, it's definitely worth $30 but uh, I probably wouldn't pay any more for it because I'm not very impressed but it's definitely worth $30. So I'm going to go over some of the new features, so let's get started. Okay, so the first one is called Mission Control, which is the new name for Expose. There's now an app for it in the dock. I'm going to remove it later, but uh, this is how it comes. So um, basically, if I have, let's say I have Google Chrome and Safari opened. Okay, so, uh, and I take four fingers and go up. Now you get uh, pretty much an Expose but they have logos under the bottom so Google Chrome and Safari now this is especially useful when you have multiple um, windows of the same um, software open so let's say I want to open a new Google Chrome window so it'll now group them together all the Google Chromes and then all the Safaris right on top of their logo so it's pretty simple then there's a new thing called um, that where there's many desktops you can have so as you can see at the top I have four desktop open and there's a dashboard you can flip through these um, desktops using four fingers you just slide them to the right or left you can add desktops by moving your mouse to the right hand corner and uh, pressing the add button so I'll show you and then you can uh, take one of the windows you have open and then drag them into the other desktop so I can just drag them all into different desktops and uh, so this is the desktop I have Google Chrome open so I have CNET open over here and let's say I want to have uh, CNET open over here so I can uh, just multitask it um, and then I can have iPhoto open over here and uh, you can have multiple um, things open and just scroll through them with four fingers and then you can also scroll to the dashboard. So this is very cool. Uh, I'll move on to the next thing which is the two finger scroll which is not new but they've changed the direction. So if you've ever used an iPad you uh, push the web page up to bring it down. If you know what I mean you take your finger and you scroll up and then the page will go down. So they've kind of adopted that into uh, Mac now. So if, you, um, so if you move two fingers up, the page will come down. If you're used to Snow Leopard, this might be a little annoying for you. So uh, you can just switch back. They, are, they have an option to switch back to Snow Leopard format um, for that uh, specific gesture. And uh, the other things are pretty much standard multitask gestures, pinch to zoom, and... Uh, one more thing I have to show you that's very cool. So I just go back to Safari. This only works in Safari, not in Google Chrome or anything else. So uh, let's say I want to go to CNN. And then I want to go to CNET. Okay. So. Uh, if I want to go back to CNN, you usually would have put three fingers back in my Snow Leopard. But here you can take two fingers. Three fingers also works, by the way. But if you take two fingers, it's just a little bit cooler. It'll uh, you can slide it out like like that, so you'll gradually see the other web page. So I found that really cool. It's kind of useless, but uh, it's just cool, you know. So we'll move on to the next thing, which is full screen apps. Um, Safari is full screen, so you, there's a little full screen icon, a uh, little thing in the corner there. So you just click it, and it becomes full screen. And uh, when you go into Mission Control, Safari will have its own desktop. So that's pretty cool. You can then just um, so before you couldn't multitask when you had a full screen window open. Now you can. So that's the main difference in that. And then that also works with iPhoto, iMovie, and a bunch of other Apple software. And then uh, I already told you about Mission Control, and you guys already know about the App Store. 
launch pad okay now this is the coolest things about one of the coolest things about the Mac OS X line so you take four fingers and pinch to the center now you can check all these multi touch gestures out on uh, your settings menu if you have any questions so um, it brings you to this where you can um, it's kind of like an iPad you can scroll through your apps using two fingers and uh, you see all your applications it's just like an iPad you have your folders here so Microsoft Office I created a folder for that so it's all in one place games on one place media all in one place so uh, yeah that's pretty cool um one more thing is called resume which is uh, which has been existent in Windows for a very long time. It's called Hibernate in Windows. And uh, if you know what that is, you'll know what Resume will be. It uh, pretty much, when you reboot your computer, it'll be the same as when you shut it off. Auto save in versions is something that works with pages, where it'll save um, along the way when you're making a document, it'll keep saving. And uh, if you ever want to go back, you can just go to the versions and then scroll through all your versions and uh, click the one you want. So you'll never lose anything. Another thing is AirDrop, where uh, you have someone next to you that's also using Mac OS X Lion. You can just drag a file onto their icon. If you go into the Finder, there'll be something called AirDrop. If you click on that, all the Macs next to you will uh, show up. And uh, you can just drag it into that. So it's pretty cool. And uh, the new mail app is uh, exactly like an iPad. So I'm just going to show you an image. It should be coming on right now. I'm not, I'm not showing you the actual thing because I don't want you to see my email address and email me and everything. So um, iCal is also like an iPad. And you can see how it's different. It's very cool. And it is in full screen too. So that's pretty cool. And uh, um, and if you use your Mac as a server, there's some new stuff for that, and uh, just a lot more uh, things. But uh, this is the main features, and uh, if you want to get it, it's thirty dollars, and I have a video telling you how to get it, and uh, I really think it's worth thirty dollars, and uh, it's really easy to download. It's amazingly simple. And it's less than an hour you have a new software on your Mac so uh, thanks for watching if you liked it please comment rate and subscribe and uh, see you later